Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be installing PowerShell module and we will work with that module. So in the previous lecture, we tried, uh, we were explaining all these options. So let's uh, give it a try with all of these manually doing all these steps. So to do that, uh, at the first point, I'm actually copy pasting this text for you in the notepad so that I can do it uh, one by one. So this uh, can work with the PowerShell version 5.1 or 6.x as a code. So in our case, to find out the PowerShell version, I'll just open PowerShell, run as administrator. That's a good practice so that you know what we are trying to do. This is a command line we wanted to use. And this says that it's a major is 5 and the minor version is 1. That means it's a 5.1. And now if I just look at a uh, win version, this is a Windows 10 machine. That means that by default 5.1 is already coming up. So I don't need to install anything. Now, all I have to do is if I have internet access, see you have uh, here, I have internet access. That means I should be able to install with this simple command Azure module. This is uh, going to AZ module from PowerShell Gallery. So there's a website called PowerShell Gallery. If I just wanted to show you, I just executed here. It's going here. In the meantime, if I just open PowerShell Gallery. So this is a website uh, runs by Microsoft and all the packages, all the information would be uploaded here so that uh, people will go here and uh, download the required things. And also the command which we just enter, it is actually connecting to powershellgallery.com. Since it is actually installing from the PowerShell Gallery, it says that, hey, do you want to install from a, a different repository altogether because this was not trusted or it's not from a local because this specific Azure module is coming from this powershellgallery.com website. So what I can do is I can press here Y so that it's going to install. It's, go, it's connecting and it's downloading that files and it gets installed. So I can trust that PS Gallery, uh, it is showing very clearly that it's going to connect with the PowerShell Gallery. So I can simply press as yes, yay for all. So instead of again, again, prompting yes, I would allow to give here as a. It got just installed from the module and now I can check out by using git hyphen install module to see any of the Azure module which start with AZ or available. So I can see here AZ 3.3 .3 is available and that's a version of my Azure module it has installed. It doesn't mean that it is actually readily available for you. So I need to import that specific module to work which we are going to get some errors in the upcoming uh, commands that I'm going to show you. If I try to connect with the uh, connect hyphen is the account, it says that the module was installed, but it was not loaded because the not all the modules will be uh, all the time will not be loaded because it will scratch the machine because unwanted all the modules will if it is loaded. Uh, it's a risk security risk at the same time. We don't know and I would know that, you know, uh, the shell is ready for what kind of an operation. So whenever we need it, uh, the required modules to be you know, uh, loaded. So in my case, uh, input hyphen module as the account is not loaded. So I'm just loading here that would actually install the module. Since the execution policy is not set, I'm going to set it to either undefined or remote signed. So in my case, I think the better policy should be the all signed uh, because I wanted to be trusted all the uh, scripts. So I'm just entering all signed and then whatever it is asking, for example, here, um, if I try to import, um, also it's saying that uh, once I enter the all signed, it's asking for me to you know, import the module. So when I try and go for the import module, it says that, hey, you want to you know, trust this, uh, this specific uh, module because it was not trusted or it's not signed or it is signed with specific uh, certificate uh, or the publisher which is showing that so I'm saying that yeah I'm okay uh, good to go to uh, sign that by pressing uh, always run that would actually enter uh, to load the module for me now I need to connect uh, by using the connect hyphen AZ connect um, so this is a command which uses to connect uh, by giving the user ID and password. So I just enter that and I need to enter here my user ID uh, which I use it to log into my PowerShell, sorry, to the my Azure portal and that ID would take me to the connecting to this shell. So now it has 
enter into the subscription now I can play with any other AZ commands for example if I want to create a new resource group what I'll do is I'll just enter this command new AZ resource group hyphen name and tutorial uh, called you know tutorial resources location is here so in my azure portal if i just go here and go to my resource groups i should be able to see here if i just refresh it's just populated uh, this uh, uh, tutorial resources so that's how you're going to create a resource group next if you want to um, create some kind of uh, admin credentials to create the vm say let's say example you want to enter the user id and password so what we'll do is we actually Put a value called dollar credential so that's actually going to be asked as for entering the uh, entering the credential so let's see here uh, the credentials are gonna store in this variable uh, by typing this command called get hyphen credentials so whenever I use this variable again uh, whatever the enter credentials are there that will be uh, populated here so I'll simply press enter so I'm just entering here so it will ask for enter the user ID and password for the virtual machine which we have given here the text so I'm just going to enter here like uh, uh, Udemy admin is the user ID and the password as some random password which I wanted to um, set it entering here the password and uh, now if i just uh, go and type my credentials it's actually showing me uh, this user id is this and the password was uh, converted and it can't show you so as a next step i need to um, check if i'm able to do the vm creation further uh, like uh, let's say i wanted to run some kind of additional commands to get the vm to be you know, created like um, let me type here the other commands you see here I'm gonna uh, type here VM para uh, parameters or resource group is tutorial resource group and the name would be the of the VM would be the tutorial VM one and location is East US and the image name is 2016 data center and the public IP is tutorial public IP that's a name and the credentials which we stored here that's a credentials and the ports should be open 3389 and now if I'm okay uh, I can say that new VM just the PowerShell command uh, to create is a new uh, VM that's a new hyphen AZ VM that's gonna uh, create and these all or the parameters has been stored uh, these all values are stored into this variable called VM parameters so it says that new VM that's the new VM it's gonna store all these values what is the command command is a new azvm as well as the parameters so these are all the values are gonna store here if i hit here it's gonna store and create that specific uh, vm1 which is new vm1 with the above resource group name and the location and image name all that information so the percentage is going quickly and it has 100 percent completed and now the vm has been created successfully now as a next step I can see the properties of the VM uh, by typing that variable like a new VM1 uh, which is uh, stored into the dollar new VM1 so simply take that and paste it so that you can see that it's uh, what is the resource group it has been created the VM name and the location and provision is accessed and the fully qualified domain name uh, which is into the cloud app.azure.com if i just go back here to my all resource groups and check out here uh, the tutorial resource group which has created and all that objects are able to see within this console which is azure portal console and that's a public ip which we have uh, renamed uh, to you know come back as a uh, tutorial public ip and the disk everything has been attached and the vm is working fine now as a next step if i want really i can connect to that vm also i just go to the vm and you can check out here uh, the nsg uh, one of the port called 3389 has been already created as an exception now i can check out with this powershell command uh, the command uh, which will talk say, about new vm prop uh, os profile that would tell about the operating system profile information and the object uh, 
which is logged into the computer uh, the computer logon user id for the admin uh, which is in this case the jeremy admin so that account as well as the password information should be available so these are the information from the uh, properties and i should be able to see here redeploy reset password so that's the information uh, it's going to you know, populate here so simply you see when i type that new vm dot os profile it's going to actually telling the computer name and the admin user id so that i can use that id to log in to the machines so it's so easy and uh, let's see if i want to know about the um, network called information of the private ip i can type from the powershell to get that as the new vm properties uh, by filtering to the az network interface and i can select the object that's expanding the property of ip configuration uh, which is for the name and the ip private ip information so i get it as the ips 1.4 or for that specific machine now I can even connect to the machine by typing msgsc slash v or just the type your MS, uh, msgsc from your run and take the public IP information uh, from the portal or you can get that information similarly a private IP you can type the for the public IP information and then connect it so here I need to give the user ID if you remember the user ID uh, for the computer is admin username is Udemy, Udemy admin that's a copy that user ID information and give that uh, complex password which I have given um, uh, from the password when I was uh, trying to create the VM which was stored under credentials, dollar credentials, user ID. So that's a password. So click OK, that's gonna actually connect uh, by clicking on yes. Uh, that's a simple certificate warning so that would connect to the vm successfully so post to this uh, you should be able to see uh, the vm uh, log on screen and i'm gonna actually uh, create one more vm within the same submit before we jump into that let's log in here so we are able to log in let's go back to the shell and try to create another vm with the vm2 parameters with the similar one within the same subnet so here the subnet name we are giving here that's it and that would actually create and i'm uh, um, executing that uh, command so it's gonna actually show me the progress of the new vm creation uh, in the percentage there and you see here it's like 2200 percent i'm fast forwarding that and then the VM gets created. If I want to um, view in my properties from the PowerShell, I can uh, input as the dollar new VM2, that's a resource name, and the success provisioning, all that information I can see. And if I just refresh here, I should be able to see here the new uh, VM2, which has been created here within the same uh, resource group with a different subnet and uh, that looks good and if i want to clean up these resources what i can do is i can use another command line but uh, you see here that the everything has been created uh, looks good and now as a next step i can simply uh, remove azure resource group and the group name i can give it that's running as a job in the background and i can check out here the job is currently running states that concludes how to create a VM with the PowerShell and resource groups and other resources and then also deleting that resources. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.